So some of the common uh, alarms that we monitor uh, in our customer support center, or maybe even if the customer decides that they want to monitor their own equipment, uh, they're not going to actually engage FSG Smart Buildings customer service center uh, to do monitoring. We would set up, there's some basic alarms that, uh, that are key that we would recommend to any customer setting up alarm notifications. Uh, whether or not a site is offline, so whether there's communication to that site, uh, also individual rooftop units, are they online or offline? Uh, lighting controllers and meters, so online offline status is, is very important um, to know. Then beyond that, you're looking at things like, for example, are your space temperatures within a certain parameter? So let's say that your, your store is set up for 74 degrees is how you want your set point set and you want your, your store temperatures to be at 74 degrees. We would typically set up an alarm anytime that that temperature got more than four degrees away from that set point. Uh, that's pretty, pretty much an indicator that you've got a problem with your cooling. If it's um, 70, set point is 74 and you're at 78, um, we also would put uh, parameters around supply air temps. We like to monitor supply air temps because when you compare the supply air temp to your space temp, uh, you, you typically know from a mechanical standpoint that you want 15 to 20 degrees in the delta, which is the, the difference between your supply and your zone or your space temp. And anytime you're not seeing that when you're calling for cooling, if you're not seeing 15 degrees, then that's an indicator that your unit is not performing well. So supplier temp alarms is another, another one. We also set up alarm notifications around most of our sensors just in general to alarm if there's a sensor fault. So anytime you've got a space temperature sensor that gets very, very high or, or too low, it's gonna indicate that there could be a failure on that sensor. Same thing we do with supplier sensors, the same thing we do with CO2 and humidity sensors, um, and almost every sensor that we install in these facilities that, uh, that we work with on a regular basis, we set up these, these fault alarm notifications around those different sensors.